Hi everyone, Melissa here, Cloud Mom. I read such a beautiful blog piece by Rebecca Wolf, one of my favorite bloggers, about how things are going with her adorable 10-month-old twin girls. She has these gorgeous photos and she talks about how torn she feels between the twins and how difficult it is sometimes to choose who to care for first, who to feed first, whose diaper to change first. This is a feeling I live with all the time. Bedtime is the worst. I sometimes have all five kids pulling at me, asking for their attention. It's so stressful, and yes, I definitely feel guilty. The things that I've done that have helped me at bedtime to deal with this are the following. The first thing is really just admitting to myself that I really can't be everything to each of them. And I try to choose on a given night one or two kids who I really spend time with reading to, chatting with, singing, put them to bed, give them a really good bedtime ritual keeping in the back of my mind that the next night I can try to do a little better for the other kids. So it's sort of like a seesaw. And the second thing I try to do is figure out who really needs my attention the most. And while I'm focusing on that child, I still keep the other children close by and try to involve them a bit. So for example, last night I was reading to my seven-year-old boy on my bed. I had him right next to me. And I had my eight-year-old plopped down next to me. He was reading on his own. So we were all together and hopefully he didn't feel ignored. And the third thing is really enlisting those older kids and helping me take care of the younger ones, trying to make them feel like we're all part of a team and giving them like a huge high five when they help me help the younger siblings by reading to them, taking them to the bathroom, getting them a drink of water, whatever it is. I actually have a video on this when it comes to taking home a new baby from the hospital and how this can be a great way to invo involve the older child. But that's what I've tried to do. None of it's perfect, but this does usually get me through the evening hours let me know what you think of my strategies and what you do. Comment on my blog on clamon.com or you can also tweet me on Twitter. Thanks.